What's up guys, Colton with Wasatch Back Explorer here for another gear review. And we're going to be looking at the FHF Pro-Am Bino Harness. So if you're interested, stick around and we'll get this started. Alrighty guys, like I said, I'm going to be reviewing this piece of gear right here on my chest. Now for those of you that have been on the channel for a while, or for those of you that have kind of followed me for a little bit, this is definitely a different piece of gear contrary to usually what I review. And for those of you that are joining the channel, um, just because you want to see what this is all about, um, this is a new piece of gear for me as far as the style of gear, because this is mostly for hunting. Um, now I have done some hunting in my life, just a little bit, but I'm not, huge i'm not really avid at it i'm not really good at it um, but this is a piece of gear right here that i wanted to go over because it fit the bill for something that i usually have with me on most hikes um, so let me just kind of give you guys a little bit of a backstory so i'll pull up here so for a while um i used to carry um, this piece of gear right here. This is the Hazard 4 um, Recon chest rig. And the reason I bought this was because at one point in my backpacking career, um, I had an experience where I wish I would have had some just essential gear items on me at all times. And some of those gear items were just basic, like a first aid kit, a way to start fire, for some water uh, filtration and things like that. So I went searching all over Amazon, all over the internet to try and find like a chest rig that would work for what I wanted to do. And I found this and I'll insert some clips of me wearing this. Um, and it did me good for about one season, honestly. I, yeah, about one season is about what I wore it. So from like spring, so about this time to about fall, I wore it and uh, it was actually pretty good. Um, the only thing I have to complain about is the fit. Now this is kind of a universal package. You can wear it on your belt. You can wear it um, like you can strap it to a backpack and you can wear it kind of like a chest rig, kind of like this. Um, but I always had a hard time getting it to fit. And when it was on me, it was always like drooping. So if I were to hang over, it would just kind of like swing out and kind of droop. It was just kind of loose. And it just wasn't that um, fitted for what I wanted. So usually I'd have like a flashlight or something here, like a spare or even like my extra magazine for my firearm. And then right here would be my Garmin InReach Mini. So I'd usually put that there. And then when you open this up, I mean, you got some pockets and some storage things. And I would just keep like my maps, my compass, uh, an emergency blanket, some fire starter, and some water purification stuff. Just to have some backups. That's really why I bought this. And then of course, in the back, there's another pocket you can see here is where I would keep my firearm. And it worked really well. It was, it did pretty good and it got me started on this search for a piece of gear that would change kind of this setup. And that's where this comes in. So let's take a look at what this piece of gear right here can contribute to me and my setup and maybe for you and your setup as well. Okay guys, so I kind of lowered the camera just to make it easier to show this off. So if my head's kind of chopped off, that's why. Um, so let's take a look at this in closer detail. So they're a local company, not a local actually, they're from Montana, um, made in the USA. Always proud of that, gotta support the United States. So that was a plus for buying this. But this is for hunters when they wanna carry their binoculars on their chest and have them easily deployed. And I also bought this because I am gonna get into um, looking for wildlife at nights and evenings and stuff. And I do a lot of off trail backpacking or I'm, I'm wanting to. And so this will, binoculars will actually help me. And I feel like it would add a new aspect to the channel to go out and find wildlife, to look for sheds and things like that because I'm kind of really interested in it and so this was a great way to get into it. So you saw if it's nice on the chest, um, it has a really great um, X pattern as far as for 
the straps that come with it. So you can see it kind of has an X pattern right there that goes over your shoulders, on your back, and then down the sides, and it holds it tight. Um, what they've done is they've made um, some elastic keepers here on the bottom to help pull the rig to your body at all times so it doesn't flop around, it doesn't get loose, and it stays, stays really snug. And it does, it works really well. So some of the specs for this piece of gear is it is made out of a 500D Cordura fabric, which makes it really tough and really resilient when you're bushwhacking, going through the bush, um, you know, tracking animals, whatever you're doing as far as hiking and hunting, this is a very tough fabric that allows for it to resist wear and tear. Um, on the front, like most binocular, you know, kind of pouches that come today with like binoculars, it has an elastic keeper, so it keeps it really quiet if you're out, you know, hunting game or, you know, whatever. All you gotta do is you gotta pull it down and it comes off. Now this is adjustable, if you see here, you're gonna just adjust that knot and get the tension that you want on your binoculars. So when you open it up, the hole inside is microfiber lined with some padding around the whole um, interior. Um, these are the binoculars that I have just recently picked up. These are the Vortex Crossfires 10 by 42. So far I love them, they're really awesome. Um, now this is the small binocular case, which is good for our uh, binoculars from five uh, five and three quarters inches to about six and a quarter, give or take. And that's kind of my only complaint is because I bought these after I bought the case and um, they're just a little small. So if you see the reveal here, you can see this zipper. It's a little small. I might send this one back and get the medium. I'm still kind of testing it out to see what it is, to see how it fits. Um, but so far it works really good. I mean, it's not bad. Um, I would just like this to be a little lower maybe. It's not a huge deal. I'll see how I feel later on. But like I said, when you open this up, you have your binoculars with a nice padded case to keep them nice and closed, uh, nice and clean and protected. Um, and there's elastics all the way around. So no matter how you run your binoculars or whatever you put in this, it'll adjust to kind of keep everything tight and neat. So you can see here, it has about a five inch zipper on top. Um, and so for me, when I outfitted this uh, pouch, I put my compass and just a small uh, microfiber cleaning cloth in there, which will help for my camera gear, for the binoculars, and a lot of other things. Um, and this runs the whole width. So this whole thing right here is one giant pocket. And it's got a nice pull tab so it's easy to open. You don't have to fiddle with it. Um, so when this ships, there are two pockets on each side that allow you to stuff like earplugs, um, they ship it with a Windicator bottle so you can refill all your Windicator um, powder and you can put it in here and it fits perfectly into this side case nice and snug. So that's a really great feature for those of you that are looking for uh, hunting rig and kind of questioning that. Um, they, like I said, they give you another one for whatever you want to put in there. On the back there is, you know, mesh lining to help it breathe a lot better. So all that meshing helps keep it cool and kind of uh, air space somewhat between your chest. So on the top, there's also on this side, a pocket behind that mesh lining. So it's got just like a flap here. So it covers up and you can reach in there. Just like a little admin pouch. You can put your hunting license in there, map, you know, whatever you want, um, just to kind of keep it away. And then what I did for my purposes in this rig is they sell this ingenious, like it's awesome the way they came up with this. But this is basically a molly pouch that fits on the bottom. And this is called their general purpose pouch. Yeah, general purpose pouches I think is what it's officially called. And this just attaches with the molly system. You can also do it on the sides. So they've made it capable of putting like this here on the side, on this side. Um, they have a bunch of other uh, pouches, like a rangefinder pouch, a, a bear spray pouch. Um, it is really awesome the way they came up with this. 
And so just to show you quickly what I have in here, this is kind of my survival or th items that I always want to have on me. Um, in here I have some extra ammunition for my firearm. I have an emergency blanket, just some uh, first aid bandages like light things, just a little bit of duct tape, some fire starter, a Sharpie, a little bit of uh, small cordage, and some matches. That is basically all I wanted to have as far as just as a backup when I'm in the backcountry. So let me put this on and I'll kind of show you how it fits. You probably saw from the beginning of the video, but I'll show you more. Here you go, so this is kind of the fit. You can see it stays really tight and it's really slim. For a lot of the bino harnesses that are out there on the market, it is very slim. Um, the bino harness that came with these Vortex Crossfires is really thick. I mean, they are like, it has to be four or five inches thick. This is really slim. There's no excess drag on the front or on the sides, unless of course you add the pouches or whatnot. So it ships with this shoulder syst strap system right here. And it is really comfortable. Um, with this other hazard four rig that I have right here, it seemed to cut into my shoulders and dig in. Everything comes with these tri buckles for full adjustability on both the bottom straps, top straps, and there's another strap system that I have that I'm going to show you in just a little bit. Um, these are your binocular um, carriers. So if you're looking through your binoculars and you drop them, for some reason, they aren't gonna drop. And these are also detachable, so you don't have to take these off. Like I said, everything is adjustable on this, which really gets a great fit for your body. And so where I was going with this is this is really versatile for all of those out there that are looking for a chest rig, for a hunting rig, whatever. This is a very modular system, and FHF gear has done a great job of making this really awesome, really affordable. This comes in at about 110 bucks, which for a lot of you, you may be saying, whoa, like that is a ton of money. Um, yeah, it is. It's like over the $100 mark. But the versatility of this whole system is insane, which is why I picked it up, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to bring this to you guys. To all of you out there that are looking for a great bino harness to support a small company and for something different besides the big like Vortex um, bino harnesses that they give you, this is your ticket. So last but not least, this was like the ultimate selling reason for me to buy this bino harness for all of its uses, like I showed you, for sure, for like fishing, for my firearm, for my binoculars, anything I wanted, a small day pack even, like I could put stuff in here and take a hike with it. Um, this part right here was the ultimate selling point for me. So the ultimate reason why I bought this is because they make a pack suspension system that allows you to carry this rig while you're backpacking. Now, a lot of you might be thinking like, yeah, you can just use the regular straps, put them underneath your pack and go. I've done that and for some reason, when I was using this rig here, the straps would ride up on your neck and just start digging and they would kind of create hot spots and pressure points, for me anyways, on my shoulders as I was hiking. And it would kind of put more weight on my shoulders instead of letting the um, weight go onto the pack. And so that's why I bought this. So this suspension system, it hooks to many different types of suspension systems. It just so happens to work perfectly on my load lifters right there. It just clips through the load lifters Osprey has these great kind of keepers right here that allow it to stay away from my neck. And then you just clip it with removable clips. They send it in the pack so you can just throw this on and off between the different harnesses. And then, so you can kind of see the whole suspension system right here. Now I don't have my per pack perfectly set up, 
But this is kind of what it looks like. You can see the main load comes down on your shoulder pads so it's working with your pack instead of separate as a separate unit. And then this just attaches to your shoulder strap straps and it helps keep the pack nice and tight. Now this also comes with the uh, binocular keepers as well. Now I just did the one because you can undo like these two sides and get out of your pack and you don't have to undo these um, like so. So I can get out of my pack just like that and I can easily just maybe there we go and I can easily just do everything up use my binoculars put them away boom I have all of my items down here down below my compass right at hand you know I can throw my map in here too as well it is just an extremely versatile rig so if you're looking for a new bino harness for your hunting setup, or you're looking for some sort of chest rig that'll do a lot of different things for a lot of different sports like I've shown you today, I would highly, highly recommend the FHF Gear Pro-Am Bino Harness. Um, go support them, they're a great company. Um, they were founded by a couple of law enforcement people, so I mean, Thank you guys for serving. I really appreciate that. Um, and they have just created a great gear item. They come in many different colors, a great price point, many different like pouches. They come even with a holster for a lot of guns that you can put where this general purpose pouch is down here. You can put a firearm there. I mean, their options are endless. And I'll put some of their videos down below in the description just so you can find out more about these guys because they are awesome and I'm really happy with it. Like I said, this is just a preview of some of the things that I've really liked. Um, I'll be continuing to you know, test this and review this, but this is just a preview of this awesome piece of gear. So far, I really like it. So go check out FHF Gear, guys. They are an amazing company, great products, and we need to support those small businesses. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much guys for joining me today on the channel for this preview. If you like what you saw, make sure and hit that subscribe button down there and uh, join the community. Um, if you guys like this piece of gear or what are your thoughts on this, make sure and leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts as far as the versatility of it because this fit the bill for me and I'm really happy with it. Thanks so much guys and we'll see you in the next video.